Hello Overclockers and welcome to the latest episode of News Weekly. My name's Bryony and I'm here to bring you the latest gaming and PC hardware stories. Today we've got everything about TSMC, a big police bust, loot boxes, E3 and much more. So let's get into it. Kicking off the gaming chapter of the news, our first story is about loot boxes and love them or hate them, they are now commonplace amongst the latest gaming releases. Gaming developers are fully aware of their profitability and it's easy to see why they don't want to give up such a lucrative income stream. However, more and more research has linked the boxes to gambling with countries like Belgium banning them completely. Now, a new study commissioned by the Gamble Aware charity reveals some worrying statistics. Apparently, up to 40% of children have open loot boxes and young, less educated people are more likely to make disproportionate contributions to loot box revenues. Just 5% of gamers are the ones that are generating half the profits from the sale of loot boxes and often they're not really wealthy people with lots of money to burn. Loot boxes have now been linked to problem gambling and addictive behaviour which is certainly a cause for concern. The researchers behind the study said we have made a number of policy suggestions to better manage these risks to vulnerable people, although broader consumer protections may also be required. The UK government doesn't currently consider loot boxes gambling, but with an upcoming Gambling Act review, it's certainly a topic that might be addressed soon. Let me know in the comments below if you're for or against loot boxes in games. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Moving on, that lower wanted level cheat finally stopped working for a group of organised game hackers in China who found themselves at the mercy of the Kunshan police. They managed to track down the gang called Chicken Drumstick with the help of Tencent and arrest 10 people caught selling video game cheats online. The group designed cheats for popular competitive games such as Overwatch and Call of Duty Mobile and made a huge amount of money in the process. Roughly £55 million in revenue was made by the organisation before it was shut down, with subscriptions to the cheating service costing around £150 a month. All the assets were seized, which included several stunning supercars, and the 17 cheats found in the hall have been destroyed. Supposedly, it's the world's biggest cheating case due to the large sums of money involved and the popular games, and I'm so pleased that they've finally been busted. I'm sure online lobbies in games like CSGO and Call of Duty will now be completely transformed. I absolutely hate being repeatedly wrecked by a blatant cheater, and with esports now a huge multi-million pound industry, shutting down the cheats creators is so important to keep things fair and competitive. The next story is about the LEGO Star Wars game that was announced during E3 2019 and it was originally meant to launch sometime in 2020. However, this ambitious title was hit with delays and was pushed back to spring 2021. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga allows you to play through all nine movies with many of the legendary characters and a touch of LEGO humour to lighten up the iconic Star Wars story. Now, a recent tweet by TT Games reveals we're going to need to wait even longer to get our hands on the finished game. TT Games said, we are working hard to make LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga the biggest and best ever LEGO game, but we're going to need more time to do it. We won't be able to make our intended spring release date, but we'll provide updated launch timing as soon as possible. This is obviously unfortunate news, but the trailers shown so far look awesome and I'll quite happily wait for a more polished game rather than a rushed unfinished one. So it seems at the moment there's no new release date, but it sounds like TT Games will let us know as soon as possible. Moving on, our next story is about E3, which was cancelled last year due to the pandemic, but E3 2021 is going to be a completely virtual event with game demos, presentations and announcements from some of the industry's biggest publishers and developers. 
Despite the recent rumours, it's now been confirmed that E3 2021 will be a free digital event for all attendees. However, the organisers behind the event, ESEA, didn't completely deny the existence of certain paid premium options. The statement on Twitter simply states that the team is excited to fill you in on all the real news for the event very soon. We already know it will be taking place from the 15th until the 17th of June and hopefully we'll hear more about big games such as Halo Infinite, Battlefield 6, Starfield and many more new and upcoming games in the near future. Kicking off the hardware chapter of the news, I'm sure that if you've tried to buy any new tech over the past year, you're probably well aware of the chip shortages that have affected the entire industry. TSMC is the world's leading manufacturer of semiconductors and creates silicon for huge companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Nvidia, AMD and many more. If you've got a car, phone or any smart device, it likely contains components created by TSMC and demand is currently completely outstripping supply. Thankfully, TSMC have an answer and the manufacturer is going to invest a whopping $100 billion, that is a huge sum of money, and it's using that to expand its chip fabrication capabilities. TSMC's chief executive said the thousands of new employees are being hired and multiple new factories are under construction. This large commitment should ensure new wafers are being created just as quickly as new technology developed is going to consume them. Intel also recently announced a $20 billion plan to expand its capacity in Arizona. I sure hope that all of this expansion allows easier access to all the latest and greatest PC hardware and tech. The next story is ideal if you're looking to upgrade your processor. You'll be pleased to know that Intel is running a great promotion when you purchase an i5 or i7 CPU. They'll give you $130 worth of software and games, and it includes some awesome AAA Ubisoft titles. You can choose from either Watch Dogs Legion, Rise of Republic and Immortals Phoenix Rising. There's also then the choice of either Anno 1800, a city building real time strategy game or Star Trek Bridge Crew, which drops you right at the heart of your own starship, the USS Aegis. Finally, the bundle includes a full download for Hunter's Arena Legends and in-game content for the game. Plus, you'll also get in-game content for World of Tanks. This offer is easy to redeem on the Intel website and processors include 10th and 11th generation options purchased before August the 31st. All the qualifying processors will be clearly marked on the Overclockers website, so make sure to check them out and get your order in right away. Moving on, this week's featured hardware launch is from Lianli. The company produces some of the most popular PC cases available. And to be honest, it's easy to see why, as the design of the cases, like the O11, make them ideal for showing off powerful RGB hardware. The brand new O11 Dynamic Mini Snow Edition combines some of the hottest trends when it comes to custom PC building. It's finished in a wonderful shade of white to reflect those colorful LEDs, and it's a smaller compact case that will still hold full-sized hardware. The modular dual chamber design allows maximum flexibility and there's even enough space for water cooling. This stunning all-white case was originally an exclusive competition prize over the festive season but now it's back for good due to extremely high demand. You can place your order right now on the Overclockers website for $101.99 and although I don't need a new PC case, I might just order one. Our final story this week is ideal if you're looking for something to do this weekend and want to possibly win some awesome prizes at the same time. ROG Live is taking place from the 9th until the 11th of April and this live stream event is jam packed with DIY PC showcases, great technical tips, challenges, quizzes and giveaways. In fact, Asus ROG are giving away over $25,000 worth of PC hardware and peripherals to those who enter one of the many competitions. 
You can submit a video to win a $3,000 PC, compete in a quiz for a $6,000 PC, or name the Asus Tough build for a chance to win a $2,000 PC. Make sure to tune in to our dedicated page on the Overclockers website to see some of the ultimate PC builds, learn how to build your own system, and even win big. The schedule includes discussions about PC cases, monitors, gaming mice, power supplies, graphics cards, the ROG phone, and much more more. A link with more details will be in the description below and good luck if you enter any of the competitions. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers News Weekly. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this week's stories. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get a notification of every episode and I'll see you again next Friday. We still didn't do the wave this time. <laughs>